Hey guys, it's Mel. Happy Saturday. Happy early Mother's Day to uh, all you mothers out there and caretakers. I say this every year. Anybody who um, has the job of taking care of little ones, older ones, it's it's all a job. <laughs> so um, happy Mother's Day early to all of you. Um, I have to go to work today at 2 o'clock, so I just wanted to go on and share some goodies and do a card share that um, I made for my mom. I still have to make two more cards for my mother-in-law and my nanny, which is my mom's mom. Um, that's what we call her. So um, here is the little card I made for my mom. And my mom loves skunks. Like she wanted a pet skunk since she's been younger. <laughs> um, and obviously you know the reasons that might be tough to do so. So here's the little card that I made for her. Um, I used this little stamp set that I got um, really cheap off the scrapyard about a year ago probably. Um, it's, I don't know who this is by. It says Lee Holland at the bottom. But um, I just got this with her in mind. And I stamped this little skunk. And then I stamped two of the little flowers and this little mouse um, at the bottom there. So I stamped them on there with my Mini Misty, which I am loving. I love my Mini Misty. So my Mini Misty and my Brother's Scan and Cut 2 is like my new favorite thing. I'm telling you, like little things like that will make you like want to force time up in your craft room um, to be able to get up there because, you know, us mothers know it's hard um, to find the time. So anyway, I stamped that with my Mini Misty, and I used this stamp set um, that I also got from the scrapyard, and you can see which ones exactly, let me show you, that I used. Um, you can just tell they're well-loved, but I was having fun using my old-school inks. Um, most of us probably have these, these Martha Stewart ones. I love these inks. The quality's great. This little setup, though, as most of you know, it stinks. I have to put washi on it just so they don't open up in my little ink drawer and then sit there and dry out, which, you know, they still do sometimes. I usually have another piece of tape on this side, but because I was using them, I had to peel it off. But um, I've been using these, and I use those to, like, ink, see, just around the edges on the sky. And this is a Simon Says Stamp Dye Ink, um, the... the Ugh. stitch cloud and then I cut out in glitter paper that's a paper tray ink one of the little real cheapy dies um, so I use those inks for that and like these old school ones that um, I always forget about but they're good just because they're already on like a dabber to you know kind of ink edges and I'll show you what I use them for on the back to do this ombre stamp but um, I kind of did the ombre thing with my mini misty and it's so nice to do that because I love pigment inks but um, Sometimes, like if you, especially if you're trying to reline it back up, just doing that and you can re ink it again and make it darker and darker. So that's what I did. So I used um, this, let's see, this is a Simon Says Stamp um, Mother's Day, is what it's called. And I used this Happy Mother's Day one. I used this one that says, Honestly, one day celebration is hardly enough. We love and appreciate you every day. Because I thought that was good for my mom. She's such a big help with, um, because we don't have daycare or anything. I'm trying to keep my kids out of daycare, um, only just because I've heard some horror stories. Not to say every daycare is bad, but I would just like worry, worry, worry so much. So um, luckily between me, my husband and I, my husband and I and my mother, um, that's the only people that she goes to. Um, so I'm really happy with that and I'm so thankful and I tell her that all the time. Like, um, like if my husband's off, he'll keep the kids obviously, but if we both work the same time, which often happens because he has rotating shifts and you know it sometimes will be scheduled the same time I wanted to use this one that says thank you mom I turned out awesome just like you <laughs> um, I kind of read that backwards but you know what I mean and then I used two of these little um, heart stamps on the inside so I'll show you that so there's the little front and then I used one of my spellbinders die and I made a shape card and so I just cut out the front and then I cut out two of the inside so I just made another one and I just cut it down the side and I added a little cloud just to make it cohesive on the inside and then I stamped two of the matching hearts um, from that set in there so I want to write a little message in there so this is my mom's Mother's Day card then I stamped my um, created by Melissa um, stamp on the back and I don't know if you can tell but it's blue and purple so it was easy to use when I did these you know old school inks just to kind of dab it having fun with that ombre so you don't have to go and buy the ombre ink pads plus you can get the exact placement you want when you use these either these or these old school ones just to kind of it helps when they have like say this little um, skinnier corner so you can get right in with that point so yeah this is my Martha Stewart ones I don't know if they sell these anymore but they're kind of the packaging is crap which is unusual for her so we'll let her slide <laughs> um Martha Stewart I mean but um the quality is great so you know I guess I 
to take it or leave it type thing. So then, so that was that card, and I have to finish some others. So that was my card share. And here's just a few goodies that um, I wanted to share that I actually forgot to show you. So you've probably seen these a million times. So it's not a lot. So here's one. I got this from the scrapyard. It's the the Greeting Farm Wood Friends, I guess it's called. And I like this because obviously it's like fallish. So I like the little acorn at the top. So cute and little heart bubble, heart speech bubble. I like the squirrel and the deer and how you can make them face each other. And then it says best friends and for someone special. So I like that font right there. So then it came with the matching dies and it was, she was nice enough to include um, one. One of the little storage pockets. I thought that was my daughter up from her nap. So this was something that I got from the scrapyard. So I was excited to get that. I, other than my, so I made my mama elephant order. I don't know if you caught my video before this. My hubby got me an early Mother's Day gift and he got me $75 gift card to mama elephant. He's like, I didn't know. He's like, he's like, this way you can get a few stamp sets and the poor guy, he was like, I don't, he's like, I didn't know if this was enough or too little or what. And he's like, hopefully, you know, I'll be. And I'm like, yeah, they're cheap, you know. But um, we don't need them to know how expensive these stamp sets are. You know, I was thinking, and now it'll be a little bit better because I have the brother scan and cut, but I'm still going to purchase the stamps. And I still love my stitch dies or like my card based dies. I'm, I'm never going to get rid of them. But, um, until there's a machine maybe that can do the stitching but I still kind of love the dies for that so but as far as coordinating dies at least I don't have to buy them now but if you think about it if you have a stamp set in mind for somebody to make a, just a card for this isn't their gift this isn't anything else and you buy the stamp set and then the coordinating dies you're like I gotta give them $50 as their gift instead of you know I know that's a little bit you know like if a stamp set's $15.99 and then the dies sometimes can be $24.99 if they have a lot of them or different prices it's like you're getting close to 50 bucks there that you could have just gave them in cash but at least you have a set and you tell yourself you'll use it more than once which I sometimes do with some of my stamps but I don't know I guess it's just all on the fun do you ever get like that every now and then I'm thinking why do I bother doing this with like crafts or why do I like maybe it's when I'm cranky I'm like why do I you know spend like you know everybody has their either their bill money and their other stuff and then you have your little extra like do what you want and I always say like I don't drink I don't smoke I don't have any like bad habits other than my you know my crafting which isn't bad it's good for me therapy wise so whenever I get money instead of buying myself clothes or because my kids will be dressed so nice but me like I'll like tomorrow I have to go to a mother's day brunch I'll probably have nothing to wear <laughs> so but it's just what all in what you like like some people everybody has like a little thing like some people go golfing or you know their husbands or they love tools or cars or whatever so you have to do things you love so that's what I that's what I rationalize it down to so rant over so here's the other thing I couldn't find this a while ago and there's another piece but I got this for $3.99 where's the little price on it I think it was $3.99 or $2.99 from Marshalls and it was this whole set and we have these sell these at Hobby Lobby this little piece fell out so I'm going to show you them too we have these at Hobby Lobby and um they're $9.99 so I'm glad that I found them cheaper so I guess because they're old so I'll just quickly go through some of these um it shows you on the back I don't think I'm going to show you all these cards actually but um it has like a lot of like I just want to show like some of them are foiled it has a lot of cute sayings um a lot of cute things on there so it comes with all these cards and here's another stack of the small cards here's a close-up of everything that's in there and what I will show you though is the die cuts that came with it, it says all these cute little cards so all that for $3.99 I like these size ones because these are easy to stick like on scrapbook layouts and things like that I just like little quick embellishments you could use that under a photo but let's open up these um, little die cuts but I couldn't find these one day and then here they were folded and put it like in a on a Marshall's bag in my room so and I did my spring cleaning and I found them <laughs> so anyway so here's one that I love this little bike and it's got some gold foiling on it and then there's little ampersand I taught my husband what an ampersand was and he's like an amper what <laughs> I was like that little end symbol um this one says on my way um I'm supposed to be painting my nails as you see how bad they look um a little arrow but I was doing dishes this says I am and a little typewriter a feather pink feather and golden teal and gold foil I love this little globe so these are just embellishments you can use every anywhere this says this is me this says 
Simply Me with the arrow and a heart and foil, butterfly. Um, so very blessed. Um, there's a bunch of these little heart. There's another heart one, and there's another one in teal. Another polka dotted feather, a foil arrow. Um, enjoying the ride. This one says, loved and adored. Little flag ends. This one says, spreading my wings. Um, this one says, on a journey. This one's just a flower. So there's a bunch of these little gold foil hearts. I'm not going to pick up all them little ones to show you. Another gold foil arrow and another little tag with a flower on it die cut. And then just some more of these like teal hearts and a bunch of these little um, gold foil stars. So um, even just that alone I've been excited for. But then there's all these little cards. And there's what the little cards look like. If you can see them. And then all the die cuts and all the squares. So um, they were all, I was excited to find that. I didn't see the one that was black and gold, but this is okay. I kind of like these, and it has little sayings on it, and it's just like all about me, Paige. And I have some, um, challenges in mind that I want to do, but again, um, other than the die cut one, I want to, like, schedule time. So I gotta wait until I know my schedule a little better, which, who knows the when that'll be. I may just have to force it in because if I try to plan too much, that's like they always say, if you if you wait till the right time to have a baby, you'll never have a baby. You know, you'll never plan it because it's always going to be like, but I have this or I have that. So, um, so yeah, so hopefully I'll be able to squeeze those in. But I really just wanted to come on and say happy Mother's Day and show you the card and some of the goodies. So happy early Mother's Day to all of you. Um, I love and adore you guys. Um... I enjoy you leaving all the comments, and I'm glad to see such a good response on the the brother scan and cut because, um, like I said before, if you know if I get a good you know response on it, then I'll take the time and do you know little tips and tricks as I learn it because I'm sure a lot of you are like me where I'm not very computer savvy. I don't know all the tips and tricks, and nor do I feel like doing all that. So if there's something basic or some easier way explained by a person who doesn't sound like a computer um that always tends to help like if it's somebody that's explaining it in like my way in my terms um there's a girl nadine on here i forgot her name of her channel um and i haven't seen her i don't know if she's still on I, nadine's might be something but anyway nadine was a person that i don't know why but i always could understand what exactly what she was talking about she's very like down to earth so instead of it being very technical because i tend to like I used to do this in school. Um, I tend to like, my attention starts to like divert if it's like somebody that's like really going by the book and reading off the book. Like I stop paying attention. Then I'm like, oh wait, I missed that, you know? So, but she was easy to understand anyway. So hopefully I can do that the same way and just share quick little easy like tips instead of it getting too technical with computer stuff. So, um, blab over. You guys, I gotta get ready for work. You guys have a really nice day. I gotta work too to close today. Ugh. But, um, at least I'm off tomorrow. You're always off on Sundays. So, um, happy Mother's Day, everybody out there and all my crafty friends. I hope you're doing well and, um, I will talk to y'all soon. Bye.